Just nine years ago, Cody McKay bought his first road bike. I didn't even know how to use the shifters on my ride home from the shop. Quickly, that changed. Cody's rides becoming journeys of self-discovery and possibility. I think a big part of it for me is just the meditative state that comes from, uh, from being on the bike. That motion of, of pedaling, turning your legs over every minute and just feeling every part of your body working in unison together. But in 2021, that body felt short of breath. So doctors did a chest x-ray. What it did find is that my heart cast a bit of a funny shadow on the x-ray. That prompted an echocardiogram and CT scan at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute. The results rocking Cody's world. And so after my CT, it, it confirmed that I had uh, an ascending aortic aneurysm, which obviously uh, completely changed the course of my life. You know, an aortic aneurysm is a ballooning or an enlarging of the aorta, and as the aorta enlarges, the wall of the aorta becomes thinner, and it's more prone to tears uh, or to potentially rupturing. And if, you know, those things happen, they can be life-threatening and fatal for a lot of people. At first, Cody clung to optimism. Just thinking that, okay, I have this aneurysm, but mine can't be as bad as what, what these other people have. But the gravity of his diagnosis soon took hold. So then I went from, I'm going to make no life changes whatsoever. I'm sure it will just resolve itself to, if I sneeze the wrong way, this thing might rupture and then I might die on the spot. And that's when Cody's uphill battle began. The situation was really weighing quite heavily on me. The road ahead, now uncertain and frightening. And so over the course of 2021, I went from uh, riding my bike uh, in a frustrated state to not riding my bike at all being concerned about doing any real physical activity, um, lifting anything heavy, um, and kind of really just came into myself and, uh, and kind of sheltered myself away from, from anything and everything. Surgery was not an immediate concern. Recognizing Cody's struggles, his University of Ottawa Heart Institute cardiologist offered critical support. She actually opted to put me through cardiac rehab pre-surgery because she wanted me to learn about how to reconnect those different parts of my life, that athletic part of my life, that part that really enjoys, loves being on the bike, and the part that knows that day to day things will relatively be okay. Cardiac prehab allayed Cody's fears, the Heart Institute team instilling hope. How can we make sure that the treatment plan that we develop is not only going to help them live a safe life, but also help them live a full life? The program even got him riding again. And ultimately, by the time 2022 rolled around, I was back on the bike full time. Cody going on adventures with friends in the cycling community. And so I had more or less all my freedom back. Ahead, Cody saw promise, but faced one more hurdle to get there. The decision was made to move forward with the surgery because of the high likelihood that I'd be able to return to a sport and competition on the other side. Cody was in top shape for his operation. My last ride was the afternoon before my surgery. His aneurysm was successfully removed replaced with a synthetic graft. I was really blown away. And on the road to recovery. Every single day it got a little bit better. Uh, certainly being told to get out of bed, I think on day one or day two, and then being told, you know, you need to walk to the end of the hall, you need to be able to walk a little bit farther. And every single time I was thinking, absolutely not, that is not gonna happen. I, I can barely get out of bed. You think I'm gonna walk to the end of the hall? And then I did. And then the next thing you know, I'm being told, okay, well, it's time to go home. Yay, going home! It was a, a whirlwind experience, for sure. Cody, to me, is an example of someone who you know, has not only done really well after heart surgery, but surpassed what he was doing even before. The patient, once feeling too fragile to lift a bag of groceries, is now doing this. He's really actually a poster child for what recovery can look like after something like this. He's actually come back to some of our support groups, talked to other patients. Um, uh, it really is, is an in inspiration to a lot of people. Cody's committed to sharing his story, helping athletes and others who are struggling, as he did, with their identity and heart diagnosis, encouraging them to learn more about their heart health and histories. 
what I never realized would happen is just how many individuals were going to reach out along the way. So I've had maybe 50, 60 unique conversations with different heart patients around the world and being able to share my own candid experience uh, in my own journey is really helping them now with their own journey and looking for that point of hope. Sales from Cody's Project Heart fundraiser jerseys are in support of the world-class medical center that saved his life. Back on the bike, competing again. Cody will ride towards that place he once thought he might never get to, the future. The fact that, uh, that I just so happen to have the Heart Institute uh, as my partner for this journey is one that I'm incredibly thankful for.